Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Infigyan. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, where we are going to solve one very interesting rational equation by two different methods. Equation is 1 over x plus 1 over x square plus 1 over x cube equal to 7 over 8. I will solve this problem by two methods. First one using factorization. Second one is using remainder theorem. Let me write method number one. As you can see, we have to find out x real first thing and denominator cannot be zero. These two things we can write. See, this is given in the problem. X belongs to real number. Okay. So let us begin with the common denominator. So I can write common denominator x cube. So it will become x square plus x plus 1 equal to 7 over 8. Cross multiply the numbers. So 7x cube equal to 8x square plus 8x plus 8. If you want to give a try using inspection method or hit and trial method or check and error method, you can consider you will get your answer quickly. No doubt about that. But why means if you have to show your work, then how you can proceed using factorization and using remainder theorem I am showing today. 7x cube, 8x square, 8x, 8. Let me write all the terms to left or I am going to directly split this 8x square in 14x square minus 6x square. Now one question would be there. How would I know? How would we know? And this 8x we are going to split 12x minus 4x. Once you will be able to write this split, then this problem is very, very simple. Take all the terms to left. 7x cube minus 14x square plus 6x square minus 12x plus 4x minus 8 equal to 0. Now from first two term I will take 7x square common out. So what is left? x minus 2 in the bracket. Now I will take 6x common out. What is left in the bracket? x minus 2. And if I will take 4 common from last two terms. I will get x minus 2 once again. So in total it is obvious cubic equation converted into one linear form x minus 2 one bracket and second bracket you will have one quadratic equation 7x square plus 6x plus 4. Now I am going to put two points. See this term you have to memorize means we will talk about in method 2 minus 14x square and this is minus 12x. We will talk in method 2 using remainder theorem. See split is most important thing in factorization. So if there is only 5 minutes then how would we split this directly? So that is all about our method number 2. Now I will solve this quadratic equation to find out whether there are some real solutions or not. So let me apply quadratic formula minus b plus minus square root b square 36 minus 4ac. So it will become 16 times 7, 112 divided by 2a, so 14. So this is complex imaginary solutions. Minus 16, minus 6 plus minus, it would be uh, i times square root 76 divided by 14. So if I will write directly after dividing 19 times 4 is 76. So I will write minus 3 plus minus i square root 19 over 7. So this will be rejected. Okay. So this solution is rejected. So only one solution is there. Real solution is there. That is x is equal to 2. Now method number 2. Remember minus 14x square and minus 12x. We will take up. Now method number 2. That equation first I will write. Cubic equation. So equation was 7x cube minus, let me write all the terms to left, minus 8x square minus 8x 
minus 8 equal to 0. So using this method, we have to find out one base solution. So I will use rational root theorem for that. Find the factors, eligible factors from the constant coefficient plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8. If I will put directly x is equal to 2, I will be having one solution. See, out of these possible eligible factors, we can put 1, minus 1, then 2. Obviously, we will find out, see, 7, 2 cube, minus 8, 2 square, minus 16, minus 8. So, 56 minus 32 minus 16. So, it is equal to 0. True. That means this is our base solution. X is equal to 2. Now, remainder theorem. Now, important is from this theorem, we can conclude the split of terms 8x square, how we split out 14x square minus 6x square in the method 1 and 8x, how we split it 12x minus 4x. That answer you will get from this method. Okay. So, what I will do? I will consider my leading term by just decreasing 1x. Remove 1x from there. So, that x will be replaced with the factor. So, if x is equal to 2 is one solution, that means x minus 2 is one factor of the cubic equation. So, I will replace that extra x, the third x, with this factor, x minus 2. Now, I have to multiply this term to in counter, means the extra term is minus 14x square. So, I am going to add here 14x square. Check this. This whole value is 7x cube. 7x square times x, 7x cube minus 14x square. So, to compensate that minus 14x square, I need to add 14x square. Similar task, I will keep it doing until the last term will come. Now, see what is from here, we are having 6x square. So, this arrow remind see 7x square times 2 minus 14x square this is the information about split how you will split let's verify here also 14x square minus 8x square 6x square minus 8x minus 8 now i will do the same thing 6x x minus 2 i removed i replaced 1x with the common factor x minus 2 so, 6x square is done minus 12. See this term minus 12x. So, I have to counter it. So, I need to add 12x here. Okay. So, see the split term is minus 12x. That is why we splitted that term 8x square as 14x minus 6x, 6x square, and 8x we splitted in method, method 1. 12x minus 4x. Okay. So, this will give us 12x minus 8x minus 8 equal to 0. Now, this is 4x minus 8 equal to 0. Remaining term as it is, you will take 4 common. x minus 2 equal to 0. Consider this x minus 2 common out from all the three terms. This term we will take from here, from here and from here. So, I can write x minus 2 in bracket 7x square plus 6x plus 4. Same factorization using remainder theorem. And remainder and remind this split is there minus 14x square and minus 12x. Okay, let's verify now. So answer is clear x is equal to 2, and from the second quadratic equation, you will get complex solution. So I am not solving it. That is what we have solved already in method 1. Okay, let's verify this value. Equation is there. Let me write here. Verification. X is equal to 2. So, value will be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square, 1 by 4, 1 by 2 cube, 1 by 8. Common denominator, if you will find, 8, 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 7 by 8, which is equal to our RHS. Hence, verified. 
So one real solution is there for the given rational equation that would be x is equal to 2. I hope you like this video. It will make some sense to you. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Take care.